Hi, my name's Andy Kissack and I'm a panel maker. I intend to try and document the rebuild of a 1931 Wolsey Hornet swallow bodied sport. Uh, as you can see from the vehicle, it's in a very poor condition. It's been stored for many years and uh, time has not been kind to it. It's in such a poor condition, in fact, that most of it is now falling to pieces. So the best way for a, a rebuild like this is actually to construct a brand new body and that's what we're going to do. I've already started to make a series of cardboard templates for the outside panel work. I need to do that because most of it's falling to pieces so we need a reference. So I'm starting the panel work and then we're going to get going with the timber framing. As you can see I've already been busy making some cardboard templates for the outline of the body. That is a rough outline of, that will be that panel there. We have another template for the back. And we have another template for there. Between the three of those, they will make up the main centre section of this body. There are also templates made up for the sides, for the doors and the bulkhead and the bonnet. But right now we will look at uh, starting to make these panels and wheel them up to date. in fact some of the pieces now cut out. There's three main sections as I've just described. I've already marked them out in aluminium and cut them out. When you're cutting them out don't cut them the right size. Always allow a little bit of material. The reason being that the panel will move and will shrink and uh, you may find that it's not big enough. Also aluminium or aluminium to our cousins across the pond uh, comes with a protective coating. So I've done all the marking out and cutting out with a plastic sheet on to stop it scratching. I'll now remove it and we'll start the annealing process. The reason that we anneal the panels to begin with is to soften them. This metal already has a reasonable temper. Uh, the British codes for this are 1050A, uh, sometimes referred to as half hard, but that terminology seems to be disappearing now. 1050 Aero, I think the 1100 series, is, a, is the right grade of material to use. Anything harder than that is difficult to anneal and will not shape up properly. Aluminium melts at about 660 degrees. We need to anneal it. The annealing temperature is about 450. That's quite close. We need to be careful that uh, we don't overwarm it and actually melt it. If we are to do that, it will create a weak spot on the panel, which means that when we then mallet it and wheel it, it could crack and a piece break out. So what we've done is, at the moment, we have just lit the acetylene flame. We adjust it so there's real no soot coming off of it, and we give the panel a very thin coating of soot. We do it speedily and not slowly. The reason is the soot burns off, more or less, at 450 degrees the same temperature that we require to anneal it. That gives us a visual guide of when the metal has been softened. Some old craftsmen used to use soap. They would rub soap on the surface, warm it till it turned black. That's a good visual guide. Sadly, your panel is now covered in black burnt soap. This will be clean when we have finished it. As you notice, I'm moving the flame constantly. Do not slow down and dwell. You are likely to create a hot spot that will melt. This process speeds the whole task of shaping the panels up.
Some of these techniques have been forgotten. I served my apprenticeship as a panel maker and uh, learnt some of the old traditional skills. There are new methods, new ideas coming out. It's about embracing all of them and incorporating the old ones. <clears throat> there are lots of new machinery and equipment available today which people didn't have years ago. They relied more on skill rather than the machine. The machine, um, the machines that are available are absolutely fabulous but cost a vast amount of money. If you are interested in making your own panel work, I will be showing you simple tools, simple techniques that can be mastered and acquired cheaply. Eckhold and Polmax, fabulous companies, all make brilliant machinery. They're all £50,000, £60,000 to buy. Most ordinary hobby people can't afford that. So we're going to use simple machines, simple tools. <clears throat> the main machine, of course, that we will be using is the wheeling machine, or commonly called the English wheeling machine. That's a 42-inch throw Edwards wheeling machine. You may also notice that the top wheel is very shiny. That's hard chrome. The hard chroming is similar to um, what is found on a, uh, like a JCB digger hydraulic ramp. So it's a very hard material. And because it's chrome and it's polished, it tends to polish the panel as you go. That makes it easy to see where the high and low spots are later on. So here we are, as I say, just carrying out the annealing process. It's a metal treatment process. We've used the acetylene flame to apply a very thin layer of carbon. Then we have turned on the oxygen and now warming it up. Look how far away the actual flame and nozzle is from the panel. It's not very, not very close at all. It's just the heat that comes off the flame that burns the carbon off. Keep it moving constantly. Don't dwell. Warms the panel up. Brings it up to a temperature of about 450 degrees. So that will now be annealed. <coughs> Remember, of course, not to grab hold of the panel because it will be very hot all over. So once it's annealed, allow it to cool by itself. So there we go, that's our first panel cut out and our first panel annealed. We'll now wait till that cools and then we'll go to the next stage of using the sandbag and mallet and the shrinking machine to rough that panel into shape and then we'll move into the wheel machine. So that's the end of part one. Thank you.